Hi everyone, it's Jamie from Rocket Guest Posting here. In this video, we're going to show you how to use our free SEO tool called Keyword Feast. Keyword Feast is part of our suite of free SEO tools designed to help you grow your online business. Before we explain what Keyword Feast is, how to use it, and why you might want to use it, please be sure to check out our free seven day trial of Rocket Guest Posting which is the internet's largest database of websites that accept guest posters along with all their key SEO metrics and contact details. Now on with the video. Keyword Feast is a desktop application that allows you to mine Google's search auto suggest feature for thousands of long tail variants of your keywords that you might not know people are searching for. These are often low competition, easy to rank for keywords. You could even use this tool for finding new trends by comparing the results weekly and seeing what new searches users are performing on Google. So let's start off with a very basic demo of the application. So say I own a website about the popular game League of Legends. I may want to know what long tails people are searching for on Google to do with League of Legends. So to find this out, I'd enter League of Legends as one of as many as I like seed keywords. A seed keyword is a keyword that we will mine long tails from. Now, on the right here, we control how deep we want to mine the keywords. Now, when I say how deep, what we basically mean is how many characters do we want to append to our seed keyword when we send it to Google Auto Suggest. Now that sounds kind of confusing, but all this program does is fire these at Google Auto Suggest and then return them. So if you have the append character depth set to one, it'll send League of Legends A, League of Legends B, League of Legends C, League of Legends D, and so on until it goes all the way through the alphabet um, and 1 to 10. Now, if we change that to 2, what it will send is A, A, B, A, C, A, D, and so on. And it will use all the different permutations it can that consist of two characters at the end to mine as many long tails as it can. So all you really need to understand from that is that the deeper the depth here, the more long tails it will generate, um, but the slower it will be. And again, the prepend works in a similar way, except we're prepending characters when we send it to Google Auto Suggest. So if we have prepend of one, it'll be A, League of Legends, and then B, League of Legends. And if we would set that to two, then it would be A, A, B, A, C, and so on through all the different two character permutations of letters and numbers to extract as many long tails as possible. First time you're using this application, I recommend you set the appended depth to two and the prepended depth to one. Um, now let's have a quick look at some of the other settings. Um, if there's certain keywords that are returned um, that you'd like to exclude, you can tick that box and enter them in there, line separated. And if you want to make sure that you're only returning keyword suggestions that contain your list of C words, seed words here, you can tick that there. Now, if we look at the application settings, we can see there's an option to change the delay between requests sent to Google's auto suggest. I'd recommend leaving that at 300 milliseconds. That way you get um, results quickly, but not so quick that Google bans your IP address. 
Another option we have is the option to use proxies. Um, if you do have good high quality proxies that are reliable, um, paste them in there in the standard format of IP port, username, password, separated by a semicolon, um, and then each proxy line separated. And also you can select that option and as your results come back, they'll all be appended into a results file here. Now, if you do use a large amount of proxies, you might find that there's so many connections going out, um, mining keywords that the GUI can become a little sluggish. Um, and if you don't really care about seeing the GUI update and you want the results just to go into the text file, then you can click that and it will stop updating the GUI, which will save yourself a little bit of computational power and it will focus on mining the keywords instead of updating the GUI with the results. So that's all of the most important options. Um, let's see it in action. So you can see here, we're now sending all these permutations to Google Autosuggest. Um, we've got the total amount of queries sent there, how many different permutations we've got left to process. And you can see we've got results coming in there. Um, you can stop it and export them, or you can just let it run to the end and then export them.